So Mahmoud, when people approach you and ask, okay, this service design thing sounds awesome. I want to become a service designer or maybe I want to become a better service designer. What do you tell them? So I will probably have a few tips that, that, that applies for the beginner as well as the ones who have been doing it for, for a while. I think one of them is to be able to build your uh, own energy because you will need that for yourself and for everyone else uh, along the way. You will need to supply people with the energy to, you know, to be able to, uh, to face difficulties and uh, demotivations, etc., etc. I think another one is to be interested in people and really interested in benefiting people because this is what every service designer is trying to do. If you are not so much in there, then probably you need to reconsider. Um, learn what everyone is talking about, but you need to really go and look at everything else beyond service design because people have been designing and delivering experiences and services for centuries. And there are so many other mental models and practices that you can learn from. Uh, and people are on daily basis also designing without knowing service design. Um, always take, take, take things to the next uh, level. So that's for yourself, for your team, for the community. Always think about, are we designer enough? If you want to say, if you want to say that. And always do the unnecessary. You will be really surprised at how something that's not, that you feel is unnecessary is, is quite uh, remarkable in impact.